Marry me with my money. Yes. You've heard it. I've heard it. People born after 2010 have heard it because older gamers have constantly said it. But who cares? Let's hear it again. Marry me with my money. Yes. I swear this episode could just be that over and over. Well, actually, a lot of episodes could be quotes over and over. Especially this one. All sons of old gods die. Man. If I could design greeting cards. But that quote comes from none other than Simon Greedwell, who we see here, that looks to suffer from a bad case of gigantic lips. And he's from Sunset Riders. And Sunset Riders is awesome. Everything about it is awesome. Even the blonde hair helmets and giant bright pink ponchos that provide no type of threat or stealth, but do provide great fashion forward sense. Also, it has the most accurate portrayals of Native Americans that I've ever seen. You in heap big trouble. Me in heap big trouble. Wow. It's like I'm right on the reservation of stupidness because that's terrible. But hey, it couldn't get worse than that, right? Me ready for powwow. <laughs> the funny thing about it is that the guy doing it sounds like he could say it correctly if he wanted to. And it's even weirder because his sister says this, fine. Please, don't shoot my brother. He's always following orders. Also, if you find yourself questioning why she pleads for Steve, that's his name, to not murder him right in front of her, well, it's because you basically murder enough people to fill an entire continent. Now, I'm not saying that they did or didn't deserve to get shot with green bullets, but they definitely didn't deserve for you to go, yee-hee, right after rigor mortis starts to set in. I mean, geez, this dude is literally laying here and they're just watching. Even after this part where Chief Scalpum uh, is still crying and trying to tend to his wounds, that we all know Wild West health techniques lead to a 0% survival rate. Yeah, no doubt about it. These are truly some sociopathic and stylish cowboys. Especially you, Carmano. Look how coldly you smile with that designer fabric. You just shot that man in style. But besides the fact that Chief Scalpum sounds like an elegant caveman, they pretty much do the run-of-the-mill type western stuff for the rest of the cast. Hasta la bye bye. Well, that's not necessarily traditional, but Paco Loco is supposed to be the dumb one anyway. So let's move on. Hey, Chihuahua. And there's El Greco, who I like to call the Latin Simon Belmont, that gives us these lines. Adios, amigo. Die, gringo. Or Hawkeye Hank Hatfield, Triple H, that gives us a frontier favorite. You got me. See, as goofy as some of the lines are, at least the voice actors had fun with it and kept it pretty playful. Although for the final boss, Sir Richard Rose, I kind of think they should have went more towards him being a Spaniard. I mean, the music is Latin, he carries a rose in his teeth like Don Flamenco, and there was the whole thing about the Spanish colonization of the Americas, but whatever. He goes on to say, Julio, old chap, bit of bad luck. No. Bad luck is when there's a slight drizzle outside and you forget your umbrella. You, on the other hand, forgot your bulletproof. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Well, then I guess you're right. But it doesn't matter. Steve's psycho self is going to celebrate over your dead body anyway. <laughs> See? But back to that laugh. <laughs> ah, I love that. And your little lean on the invisible bar stance. Your stylish little fake Spanish dude that's English. Then, when we go back to our merry band of smiling death dealers, my god, who are the real heroes here? We see that they have a nice, thick cowboy draw to their statements. All right, man. You all right, man? Don't worry about it. Man, they leaned into that more than Richard Rose leaned into nothing. Good job, psychopaths! And as far as the enemies go, well, similar to the DD Crew episode, you're gonna hear the enemy's death sound more than once, and I can guarantee that. <laughs> And lastly, for a bit of the other miscellaneous sounds, Sunset Riders has one of the best insert coin sounds that I've ever- <laughs> Oh, that's the, we just committed another successful homicide sound. Oh, whatever. Gets me pumped. Play it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see their point. It is fun to kill. What an awesome murder simulator. And we have a Konami favorite sound that I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot of due to the amount of flying bullets that will insert in your brain as fast as you insert in a coin. Please continue. So to finish up, Sunset Riders came out in 91, and for a game to have such detailed and animated intro with a ton of voices, it was completely outstanding for its time. 
Also, as you've probably seen already on this site, Konami likes filling their games with a ton of fun voices, and Sunset Riders is no exception. So I'd give Sunset Riders an A for sound quality and a B for acting. Really good stuff. Now, let's watch our heroes ride off into the sunset like the Sunset Riders that they are, so they can cheer on another... Mm -hmm. 